Hi, this is Theo from Pucklebox.com. Today I'm going to show you how I fill my watercolor pens with watercolor tubes. This video is going to be for beginners who are looking to build their watercolor palette using their own selection of colors. Today's video I'm going to focus on how I fill these watercolor pens here with watercolor tube paints. If you want to learn more about the differences between watercolor tube paints and pen colors like this, you can check out my other video. But before I put this box away, I want to talk about the differences between the pens here that are filled with tube paints and also the pens here that came standard in the box. So if you take a look at the differences, well, um, the visual difference is um, the pens here are more beautiful. They are filled to the brim. There are no gaps uh, between the pen and the paint. But if you look at the paints here, the texture is, well, a bit more bumpy. If you look closely, there are actually some gaps in between the plastic pen and the paint, especially here. Let me zoom in closer for you. The gap is here on the right side. You can see that there is uh, quite a big gap here, about 1 to 2 mm. The hole here. This color also has a gap at the top. Here there's a gap as well on the left and right side of this color. So um, I want to teach you how you can avoid creating gaps when you are filling your pen colors. Watercolor pens usually come in two sizes, the half pen and the full pen. Half pen has a capacity of around 2 ml and the full pen around 4 ml. So the full pen actually holds more paint but other than that the full pen also allows you to use it with a bigger brush. This is a size 10 brush and it can pick up a lot of pigment. What this means is you can mix a huge color mixture very quickly compared to a half pen like this where you can only use a small brush and if you want to mix a big mixture you have to go in several times but with a full pen it's faster so um, let's try and fill this color today this is a used up pen i want to fill it with raw sienna this is a 15 ml tube pin from daniel smith this is 15 ml so you can actually fill this half pen around seven times Watercolor tubes also come in 5 ml, so for a tube like this, you can fill it two times or two, three times. So it's definitely more economic to um, use tube pins to fill your pens. Although pens that come with color are also sold separately. This is another brand. This is from Mission Go. This is 7 ml, so this is able to fill the pen three times three and a half times now before you fill the pen make sure that you have your pen nearby of course now the reason for that is because some of these tube pins when you buy them from the shop they could be hanging there for a few months the binder the gum arabic may have separated from the pin so when you open it up or maybe somebody press the pin tube when you open it up sometimes the pin may come rushing out so make sure that you have your pen uh, in advance first before you open the tube so let's see what's going to happen when I open this so that if the pin actually rushes out you can put it into the pen straight away let's see if that's going to happen today oops ouch and yes, I think that's happening right now. You can see that the pin rushed out and filled the gap. I should have opened it much quicker. So you might want to open it very quickly so that the pin does not fill the cap like this. And the next thing to note is don't fill it all the way first. Fill it maybe half or three quarters. Let me press a bit, make sure that you feel all the four corners. Usually I would like to go towards the side first. Squeeze a bit towards the side and turn the pen around. 
and go towards the side again to, just to make sure that I feel all the sides first before I feel the middle section okay then you can use the edge of the pen to just clean off the top of the tube so it's going to look something like this there are some holes there uh, it doesn't matter right now now after you have filled your pen like this this is almost half filled or three quarters filled you can dry it this is a good example of pin that has shrunk in size after it has dried take a look at this huge gap at the top on the top side the left and the bottom right and there's a hole on the left side so chances are when this half pen is dry it's going to create gaps at the at all the sides around the paint so that is when you can go in to fill in the second time just squeeze the tubes to fill in all the gaps now if you want to be really careful you want to minimize the gaps you want to minimize the number of holes in your pen just so that it looks nicer you can do it three times that means for the first time first layer don't fill up so much paint just fill up maybe one third of the amount wait for the pen to shrink go in and fill in the second layer wait for it to shrink again and then go in with the third layer and use the top of the tube to just make the whole surface flat and of course some of this paint actually got out into the cap like this I might want to sometimes I will use the toothpick to just scrape off the paint slowly and make sure that it comes out so that I don't, do not waste the paint so all this paint actually can still be salvaged So that's why it's important to have your pens nearby before you open the tube. Or you can just use your watercolor brush and paint from this tiny little cap to use up all the colors. Also when you have colors like this, when you go and close it again, when they dry, it's going to make it a bit difficult to open it up the next time. Sometimes you might find that the gum arabic has separated from the paint so again you can use the toothpick um, just to mix up the paint a bit now i can put this half pen back into the box you know these metal holders here you can push them down slightly before you put the pen in so you can put it like this and then push it down from this side here and it will hold this metal piece will hold the pen in place very firmly after all the pens are laid out properly i will dry this i will close my box like this sometimes i might want to put a pencil here or maybe my toothpick here a pencil will do this is to make sure that there is a gap here so when i put this out under the sun to dry at least the moisture can escape from the box you may find that sometimes you don't need to put a pencil or whatever to keep the box open some box they don't close properly for example this one this will have a gap here this allows the moisture to escape so after that i'll put this under the sun and wait for it to dry usually it takes around a day to dry it's quite quick but make sure that you do not expose your paints like this under the sun this is going to um, make your colors fade because Paints are not totally light fast, they will fade under sunlight, especially under strong sunlight. It's raining now, I'm not sure if you can hear the rain outside. Anyway, on the next day or on the second day, you can open up the box to see how your paints, your pants have dried. And for those that are half filled, you can go in to fill up the gaps and the holes by adding an additional layer. Make sure your colors are, have dried properly before you put them in your bag. The idea for today's video or the inspiration for today's video actually came about when I'm trying to fill up this color here, this yellow color here, and I did not dry it properly. And I closed the box 
and put it into my bag like this and the next day when I open it up I found that the colors have run up from this pen here it ran here over this orange color and over to the red color you can see some yellow dots here I have to use a pen knife to scrape off the colors and also you see the colors here because it ran from out it ran out from the cup from the pen box here and onto this uh, surface here so make sure that your colors are dried properly before you put them into a bag or it can get really messy and you can waste a lot of colors if the colors mix together and it's very difficult to separate them after that I also want to talk about different brands for example this is Mission Go this dries quite well after it's dry you can put it like this and the paint will not fall out the same goes for Winston and Newton, Daniel Smith. For other brands, you might need to try it out. For example, M. Graham, they use honey in their paint, so they don't dry very well. And even if they are dry, they're still a bit runny. So if you put them into a box like this and you put it into your bag, if your bag gets hot, the paint is going to run everywhere. Also, for brands like Core Watercolors, I find that when you squeeze out the pins into pens, when they dry, when you re-wet them again, the colors are not as intense when compared to the tubes. But for Daniel Smith and Mission Go, uh, the intensity is the same whether or not it's from the tube or when it's dry inside pens like this. So that's another thing to take note of. And the last thing to take note is not all colors dry uh, well in the sense that some will dry uh, into a very hard surface they will have some sort of coating on the surface and it's very difficult to re-wet it again one good example is the, the color Viridian which actually dries back into a rock and it's really very difficult to dissolve Viridian after it has dried so um, Viridian is not a color to use but um, you really have to try it out in order to find out whether or not those colors are good to be used in pens like this Oh, by the way, this is a Schmink watercolor box. This is limited edition. I bought this many years ago, so it's quite difficult to find this box today. I want to mention this because usually people would ask me whenever I show them this box. Anyway, that's the end of today's video. I hope you find it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section just right below this video. I will post some additional links to Jane Blundell's website where she has written uh, additional information on filling watercolor pens you might find those helpful as well so check out the video description below thanks for watching see you in the next video and remember to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done so for more art product reviews bye